Okay, so this is the SCCM manager. There are a few prerequisites that we need to um, uh, make sure are uh, set up, and those are um, uh, setting up the IIS and then uh, choosing these roles and features of IIS, uh, the ASP.NET feature, web HTTP redirect, Windows authentication, metabase compatibility, WMI, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, the features are set up. So first things first, let's install IIS. We're going to log in. Get into roles. We're going to add a role. Hit next. We're going to choose web server IIS. When you double click, when you click on it once, it's going to go through some additional features it needs to install. Make sure you hit add required features. We're going to click OK and then we're going to hit next. Hit next here. Now these are the um, services that go along with roles. All right, these are like the features, remember we talked about? And there were a few things that we needed to set up. The first one was ASP.NET. Click on, click this, and it'll automatically set up the uh, necessary check marks for you as to what's needed. Um, Windows authentication we needed. And then we needed uh, IIS 6 MetaBase compatibility and the WMI compatibility. So now that we have that, we're going to hit next and we're going to hit install and it's going to go through and do its thing and install the additional features and um, roles. Okay, so um, the IIS is installed. I'm going to hit close. Now what we need to do is we need to install just a few more additional features, okay? So what we need to do now is go into um, features and we need to, as you can see, there's some features already installed. We need to click on add features. Here, um, we need to install the um, bits server um, extension. So click OK and also the remote um, differential uh, compression. We're gonna hit next, hit next. We're gonna click on install. Okay, now that uh, the bits and uh, <clears throat> the remote differential compressions are installed here, we're gonna hit close. All right, now what we need to do is we need to um, install WebDev, that's a software that needs to be um, installed and working within IIS, okay? So I've already downloaded it. Like I said, you can um, look at the link and download it, download, download it from there. I'm going to go, go into the SCCM files here. And here, where is it? Web dev right here for x86. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit install this. Should start momentarily. There we go. We're gonna hit run, and it's gonna go ahead and install. Okay, as you can see, this is extensions for IIS. We're gonna accept the terms. We're gonna hit install. Let it let it do its thing. Okay, so now it's installed. We're gonna hit finish, and we're gonna close this. Go into I. IIS, so we're going to go to um, administrative tools and we're going to go into um, IIS manager. All right, I'm going to go ahead and expand this. Here, um, we're going to click on um, our server to expand the tree and it's trying to refresh itself so it's until so it's trying to connect. Okay, so we're going to click on sites. We're going to click on uh, plus over here on the first default site. We're going to go into web authoring rules, okay? 
So we're going to go ahead and double click this. Once we double click this, what we need to do is we need to um, come here and we need to um, enable web dev, all right? Now that it has been enabled, we need to go in and create, um, we need to go into uh, um, settings and then go to authoring, authoring rules. So I'm going to click on um, add rule. Here it's going to be all content, all users, and we're going to give it read permission. Okay, we're going to click on OK. Now we have the rule set up here. All right, now we're going to go into the settings of this rule. And here, what we need to do is um, see where it says anonymous uh, property queries. Well, we need to change that to true. Um, allow custom properties. We need to change that false and allow property query um, with infinite depth. We're going to change that to true and we're going to change the hidden files to true. So that would be. Um, under property behaviors, that would be true, false, true, and under web behavior, web dev behavior, it's going to be true. All right, now that that's set, we're going to click on apply. So that's been applied. So um, that's out of the way now. Okay, so the next thing to do is install SQL.